How many of you have stayed overnight in the hospital? Yeah, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about here. Um, there are two kinds of night nurses, right? At, at one end of the spectrum, there's militant Mary. Mary was discharged from the army, but she doesn't remember that. She views getting your blood pressure at 4 a.m. the same way they viewed storming the beaches of Normandy. I will get their blood pressure, sir, yes, sir. She approaches your room, my room, 4 a.m. <laughs> steps inside, turns on the overhead lights. <laughs> You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like grabs your arm, whips blood pressure cuff around. <laughs> One twenty over eighty. You're fine. Good night. <laughs> Note to self, call Mary at her home at 10 a.m. <laughs> at the other end of the spectrum, there's the stealth nurse. The stealth nurse is like all Velcro down, wears like jet black, like approaches your room like it's a safe. <laughs> She's got like one of those little pen lights. She has seen all she needs to see. Like ties your arm like with string, threads it through a little eye on the sink. <laughs> Slides the blood pressure cuff underneath. <laughs> you start to wake up, she like holds black cloth over your eyes. The stealth nurse could come into your room, steal one of your organs, and you would have no idea. But long live the stealth nurse. Yeah.